come in for him again. So, yeah, on those three teams... Um, well, about Arsenal, I, I, Joel Bale be asking me to ask you about <laughs> Arsenal as well. I mean, Ivan Tony. Yes, people, what's going on, people? Let's get into Arsenal transfer news today, the 3rd of January. We got uh, David Onstein giving us an update on Ivan Tony. Apparently, Kieran Tierney could be recalled from his loan. That is a possibility. Would you like that to happen? Let me know in the comment section. Arsenal, once again, are linked to Vlahovic. We're also linked to the, uh, none other than the man himself, Amadou Onana from Everton, plus more. Let's get into this video, and then we're going to talk about the rest of the transfers in a second. But do me a favor, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, and let's get this show started. This window, because I think they lose two attacking players to the AFCON, um, I think, if I'm, rightly, if I'm right there. And um, I just... I, 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 there's other players, obviously, Dominic Solanke as well, who's doing really well. Um, but mm. I think their first choice will be Tony, unless you correct me otherwise. Well, look, Ivan Tony is admired by some inside Arsenal, like he is. Uh... So there you go. Rio's talking about the fact that he doesn't think we're going to get him because of all the stuff going on at Brentford. And I think that's very valid. I don't think we're going to get Ivan Tony without a large transfer fee because of where Brentford are currently in the Premier League. And if you guys don't know, Brentford are currently near a relegation battle. They're 16th in the Premier League with 19 points after 19 games played. Yes, they have a game in hand against some of the other teams, and they could be back up to as far as 14th if they win their next game. But this is a factor that we're going to have to think about when we talk about Ivan Tony. But let's hear what David Onstein has to say. A number of clubs, but that doesn't translate into a transfer. Um uh... The first thing we should say, and the freshest thing, is that Brentford are in a really difficult position. They've lost their last five matches in a row. Ryan and Buemo is out for a number of months. He's had surgery. Johan Wisser is going to the AFCON. And so they need him now more than ever. He's due to return from his gambling suspension on the 16th of January. The first fixture that he's available for is the 22nd of January against Nottingham Forest. He's been training really well by all accounts. And I see them reintegrating him. Let's see how he does on the pitch. If he starts to fly and uh, other clubs are really struggling, then maybe there'll be a bit of panic, a bit of a last late reactive move to test the resolve of Brentford. But I think it's more likely that he stays in January. Maybe he could leave in the summer and don't completely discount that he goes as a free agent in the summer of 2025. Brentford would like... Whew, crazy. But yeah, so that's just a small update on Ivan Tony. It, it could be that Ivan Tony does not move this January to either Chelsea or Arsenal, and he could even leave as a free transfer, as David Onstein has just reported right there. But let's get into the rest of the Arsenal transfer news, as there is a lot of news to get into, ladies and gentlemen. And there's some stuff that I haven't even I didn't even know about until now. So let me just get let me just get this up and running for you guys, so you guys can see some of the stuff that's going on. Because today. I've seen a bunch of updates, and some of these updates I need to show you guys right, right now. First things first. The first one that I want to show you guys is none other than the man himself, Kieran Tierney. Yes, Kieran Tierney. There's a, there's potential of Kieran Tierney coming back to the Arsenal. Yes, reports coming out from Spain that Arsenal could be interested in getting Kieran Tierney back uh, uh, from the, uh, and recalling him early from his loan. Arsenal could be looking to recall Kieran Tierney this month, due to the lack of options in the fullback position, this is uh, brought to you by a Spanish outlet stating that Arsenal would be interested in bringing back Kieran Tierney. Personally, for me, I think this would be a good move. I personally would welcome the, uh, the, uh, Kieran Tierney coming back to the Arsenal uh, at this moment in time. Due to the, uh, It's just Mikel Arteta is going to have to make sure he doesn't make the same mistake that he made previously, which was he picked up Kieran Tierney to play him similar a similar way to Zinchenko. Kieran Tierney cannot do the inverted role the same way that Zinchenko does, and at times it leaves him vulnerable and exposed. So if we're going to bring back Kieran Tierney and we're going to play him, I think we're going to have to alter the way that we play slightly to suit Kieran Tierney in the meanwhile as as we don't have Timber and we don't have Tommy Osu and we don't have uh, Zinchenko. But if you want to bring him back, at least he's good defensively and he can whip a ball in. So I would be 100% welcoming that idea to bring back Kieran Tierney. Now, 
I want to show you guys this. Jamie Carragher was talking a lot about Arsenal. This is not transfer related, but he was basically saying that Arsenal don't have no world class players similar to a Mo Salah or Haaland. And I just wanted to know if you guys agree with that. Let me know in the comment section. Also, Arsenal have released a lot of information on uh, on David Raya. I do believe that David Raya is probably going to be signing a permanent deal. Um, also, this was what he said as it stands. Liverpool have got something that Arsenal don't. He spoke about a manager who's won titles, and he spoke about players who are genuinely world-class. So that's more or less where he was speaking about. But the next thing is Dusan Vlahovic has been linked to Arsenal. Yes, Dusan Vlahovic has been linked to Arsenal, and reports, reports coming out, uh, that Dusan Vlahovic, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal, Mikel Arteta is a big fan of Dusan Vlahovic, and I think that Brentford selling, I won't, uh, I don't think Brentford will sell Ivan Tony in January, so Juventus would want around 50 million for if Arsenal were interested in, uh, in, 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 Dusan, uh, in Dusan. I don't think because we were interested in him a couple of years ago that we would do a player plus cash. Really and truly, if we did buy him, it would be for 50 million straight. And I don't think Arsenal at this moment in time are interested in uh, in Dusan Vlahovic. And I just, I don't even know how well he's been doing in at Juventus. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, he hasn't been doing that well. Let me just go check quickly. Yeah, so just goes to show you, he, he hasn't been pulling up trees at Juventus. Since he's joined Juventus, he's only had one 10-goal season. He's not been that good. Where at Florentina... He was bagging 21, 17 goals on a regular basis. He's just not pulling up trees at Juventus right now. So I wouldn't I wouldn't take him. But guess what? He is better than what we currently have. Reports also speaking about Kieran Tierney. Um, yes, we are strongly considering bringing him back from Real Sociedad to boost our squad depth. Personally for me, some people didn't know why we got rid of him in the first place. I think if Mikel Arteta is going to bring him back in, he is going to, one, probably only going to play him until the players come back from injury. And if he's gonna, if he, if he can actually help us out, I wouldn't mind bringing him back. But if he, but if he wants to just get as much game time as possible before a potential transfer away from the club next this upcoming summer, his best move is to probably stay at Real Sociedad. I don't know how many games he played at Real Sociedad this season. Let me go check quickly. Just check how many games did he play at Real Sociedad this season so far for Real Sociedad. He's only played, he's only played a total of. 11 games for Real Sociedad, two Champions League games and one uh, and nine uh, league games. So he hasn't been getting utilized as much either over there. So let's let's see. I would bring him back 110 percent. Now, there are some small rumors that we need to discuss. So first one is Arsenal have no plans of allowing Aaron Ramsdale to leave in this window uh, and would uh, and would take an astronomical bid to even consider as Sky Sports are currently stating that Arsenal would not be looking to sell uh, Aaron Ramsdale. And I think that's a good thing. We don't want to be selling Aaron Ramsdale at this moment in time where his value is very low. If if we were to sell him, we would need a ridiculous bid from a Newcastle or something like that. Also, Marquinhos is is uh, is apparently ter- uh, Marquinhos has apparently terminated his contract for his loan, and he'll be coming back to the club very soon. That is another that is another story that we've heard today. Let's see what else there is. There's also this one here, Amadou Onana. I spoke about this on the previous video, but I would take Amadou Onana at Arsenal in a heartbeat. I think this would be a massive signing for us and potentially uh, because of their financial situation at Everton, we could potentially pounce and get him on a really good deal. So I would look at trying to capitalize on that situation at this moment in time. And there's also been some rumors going around from the West Ham employees stating that Reese Nelson is 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 available uh, and West Ham are one of the clubs that are currently interested in him as an alternative option as they are trying to abide by FFP rules and Arsenal midfielder uh, Mohamed Al Neni is on the verge of exiting the club after he comes back from Egyptian uh, internationals he or, or during internationals he will finalize his exit to join Turkish uh, Turkish club uh, it very soon so those are those are the reports and there's one more thing that I need to show you guys Arsenal are very serious about signing Zubamendi as reported uh, by give me sport and Dean Jones reports are that Arsenal are extremely interested in Zubamendi and Arsenal are set to offload Mohamed al Neni, which would allow them to make a move for Zubamendi would we make this move for Zubamendi in the, in the in the January window I don't know. Arsenal will not be able to do a big deal in the January, making the plan ahead of the summer due to 
Zubamendi emerging as a key target. This is now being reported from John Cross. This is also being reported from The Mirror. And this is also being reported from Give Me Score and Dean Jones. Everyone's saying that Zubamendi would be a potential target for Arsenal. To me, I look at Zubamendi as more of a Jorginho type replacement. Somebody who can play in that midfield, has all the passing range, but yet also has more mobility than 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 uh, Azubamendi. People have compared him to a Declan Rice or a Palinia, but with better passing ability. I've actually heard some people call, uh, refer to him as a younger version of Sergio Busquets. So let's, let's see what ends up happening with that. There's more reports here that Arsenal will not be able uh, will not be able to do a big deal in January, making the plans ahead of the summer with Zubamendi emerging as a target. Um, likely to move for a winger and a center forward with um, Neto and Ivan Tony emerging as possible targets. I, I personally don't know if we're going to be able to pull off two transfers in the January window. But once again, I leave you guys with this. I always ask you guys a couple questions. So what do you guys genuinely think? Do you think bringing back Kieran Tierney, this uh, transfer window would be very important and help us out in the short to immediate term? I personally think it would. Would you take Dusan Vlahovic at Arsenal? Personally, I wouldn't. Um, Amru Onana, I think that would be a cheap, good midfield choice. But is he of the level to raise our standards or would he just be the bare minimum to improve us? And as for the Zubamendi and the Ivan Tony and the Pedro Neto shouts, I don't know if we're going to get Ivan Tony. I don't think we are. Pedro Neto, I think he's injured at this moment in time. So why would we even sign him an injured player? And what do you guys think is going to get done? Because it's three days into the transfer window and I have no optimism at this moment in time. But yeah, that's today's Arsenal news today. Just giving you guys the updates. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. Leave a comment down below if you do. And if you've gotten to this far in the video, at least let me know what you think about the Kieran Tierney situation. Love for the love, people. Make sure you smash the like on the video. Let's try to get at least 100 likes on each video. And I'm out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. You already know what it is. And don't forget to check out the video with me, Dawood Northside, and Femi that I'm going to be doing uh, that, that, I'm, that, I'm, that should be live at this point or will be live later today. But I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Mm -hmm.